A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this particular channeling session, I'm going to be talking about uh, the feminine who learns to deal with the money matters better than before, much better than before. And actually the statement I was given for the channeling was no money, no honey. Unfortunately, this is the reality of our world because we live in a world where, you know, money is needed to buy stuff, to get resources. But the problem happens when we don't see money like money. And many twin flame relationships, the journey actually is very much impacted by social status, money matters. More than feelings and emotions, people are more concerned about these things. And which is also not unfair, you know, for some cases, like if you are too greedy, if you want way too much money, you want way too much of everything, then obviously it's not a good thing. Then maybe that person is not even in twin flame energies because twin flames are not so greedy. They are not so money minded. They are not so materialistic. And especially when the Kundalini awakening, it becomes a fast process. So Kundalini awakens at a much earlier stage in life. It happens much before. It's just that it becomes dormant and it needs soul shock. It needs some kind of pain, some kind of real pain, true pain, where you question reality, when you question what is true and what is false. So when you are in a condition or in a situation energetically to question your... Uh, existence your you know what you do what you like and most importantly your question is about what is love is this love that i'm experiencing or love is something bigger and better something you know else that i don't know about so when people ask these questions based out of their experience and based out of their genuine pain that is the time when the kundalini awakening it starts taking place in a better way so basically this ascension process it depends completely on the grace of guru it depends on the universal plan and this is the reason why many people got huge awakening you know during 2020 because then that was basically being matched with the energies of planet earth as earth is awakening into new energies into fresh energies this is also happening okay other people are awakening along with earth so that's how this whole uh, ascension work happens so you have to understand that the feminine energy is a giver energy it is a very strong energy it is the energy which is full of emotions feelings love compassion all these things are present in the feminine energy and most importantly feminine is the shakti Feminine is the Shakti. She is the one who gives energy. In English, if you translate Shakti into uh, English, it will be power. In fact, the other energy, what how we call it is divine energy. So Shakti is power, Shakti is divine energy and without power, nothing can work basically. Even when we look at electricity, many people actually use the word power instead of electricity like if you ask them is there any electricity they would say there is no power so that's why nothing is working so even for the electronic appliances to work we need electricity which is also a type of power okay so most of our modern conveniences and appliances our whole life is electrically powered right so similarly life force energy you can't work uh, with anything if you don't have the power. So now she is basically in those energies. She is in that state. She's in that zone where she realizes that she has to get up and take charge of the situation because somebody else is not going to anybody else is not going to the person she fell in love with the person she trusted believed you know, that person is not willing to be there for her, stand by her, okay? Anybody else also who she thought that, you know, these people are going to help me out, these people are going to take care of me, support me, even they are not there for her, okay? And then a big secret is sort of revealed to her, which most of the Divine Feminines don't know about, 
because of their inner sense you can say and again this is not gender specific anybody who possesses the feminine energy who is in the polarized feminine energy be it a man or a woman that person usually experiences this and they realize they always think that you know i should be loved for who i am whether it's my family whether it's my relatives whether it's my friends or whether it's my mission work everything you know it can work out through me as in the identity but with time she realizes that nobody is actually with her on her side because of the same identity that she used to think is a good identity like you know i'm honest i'm truthful i'm sincere i'm loving i'm compassionate and i'm taking such a big stand for the people who matter to me so obviously they will love me back obviously they will take care of me but then when she finds out that her lover has left her because of social status or because she doesn't have enough money and someone else has a lot of money so he chooses her or his family chooses her and obviously in the uh, if it's a man then again the same thing that the man is thinking who has feminine energy that my woman will love me for who i am and then he finds out that no she does not she wants somebody who has a better paying job or she wants someone who can take care of her he feels that i am too emotional i am so emotional that for me everything is about emotions but for other people that's not the case for other people even if they have a lot even if so this is where the dilemma comes that everybody else has say lot of money people are doing good in their lives and the feminine is like yeah everybody is doing good and i'm so proud of them i don't want to do any of this i want to be a light worker i want to take care of people i want to take care of anyone whatever field they want to and so i will do this and another obviously the biggest priority is my lover with the help of my lover or with his support and with his understanding i can achieve anything and they always even before they meet the lover or not they always had this mission oriented mindset but when the lover enters the picture they forget everything they don't know anything i don't know what's happening to them you know and they just flow with that person and they if they had any career if they had any dream job if they had anything or say even if they were in a secure career for that person for that love they will leave it if it means they have to move to another city they will leave if they have to you know like move to a smaller house they will do that if they have to come closer to that person geographically physically they will do that they will do all of the attempts so this type of priority that is given to money and it is given to social status all of this is very heartbreaking for the person who is experiencing this and after going into a very deep dark night because this dark night is not about anything else but it is about getting rejected because of money you know getting rejected for some other reason one person can still say okay yeah this is the reason they rejected me but when someone rejects you only for money it it can feel very bad for many days and for many months it can actually break a person down completely and in other uh, dynamics also i'm telling you this this is not only for the people who are experiencing this but this this thing can happen to anyone who is uh, not the priority number one thing and they always feel that there is some kind of annoyance always you know like uh, something is always less it's not enough something is not enough no matter what you do no matter how much you do it's not enough and there is always a attraction towards materialistic things and there is also deep resentment within due to whatever childhood poverty maybe you are a very abundant person you never asked for anything you never demanded for anything you never cared about anything but your family did so they would constantly talk about money 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 if money is not there we can't do this if money is this money is that you know without money there's no life even this statement that was given to me no money no honey now this is the reality of three dimensional world because in the three dimensional world even to get a roof above your head you need to pay people money you know if you want a stable place and i'm telling you there are some people who have shelter also but it's like they are not happy in that shelter so all of this is connected to your root chakra you know where you are basically uh, constantly surviving trying to survive you're not even surviving properly you're trying every month every week you are just managing there is a lot of uh, 
dissatisfaction there is this you know like discontentment disconnect also so many times such people they want to do something say they just want to go for a holiday it's not even a fancy holiday they just want to escape want to go somewhere you know somewhere anywhere but they don't even have that much money that they can get a plane ticket or they can get you know like a hotel stay even if it's a normal regular guest house they cannot manage to do that they cannot afford it it is a different thing if you have responsibilities and if you have to do a lot of work say you're a mission oriented person and every day you need to work towards your mission you know 4 hours 5 hours 6 hours or whatever whole day maybe 24 by 7 it's just your life you can't do things you can't do things for your pleasure and your leisure it's okay because what you're doing your mission itself gives you a lot of happiness and joy so you don't feel like going anywhere and if you feel like going anywhere you can escape into something else but that will only happen once you once you have grounded yourself fully when your root chakra is very very strong you know you have a strong foundation so then you will be content wherever you are in a way but if you are not then you will keep looking for your home and you also look for your home in a person you look at a person and that person makes you feel like home but even though you feel like home with that person or that person also gets similar feelings from you but because your root chakra is not well developed it is very weak it is very strong you can never be happy in that home or that home will always be taken away from you or they will be like running and chasing dynamic you know runner chaser sometimes you're with that person then you're not with that person then you're not and then comes a point where you can't be you know be doing this for the rest of your life you get sick and tired of it when you get sick and tired of it then somebody you know feels like telling you that hey you know what you're not good enough for me i got to go with somebody who's better than you you ask them what's so good about them what's so better about them oh well nothing 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 really so you start doing your you know detective work your spying work and you find out that the biggest reason is probably money so now this feminine is basically as per the channeling i'm being told that this feminine is working a lot towards their uh, materialistic goals and they are not doing it like in a money minded way but they are just trying to show the world that don't think i'm a fool i left everything for love i left everything because i was going through an awakening process and i could not work or i could not focus on many things there were a lot of you know work trauma that i was dealing with and maybe i'm not 100% healed because see when your root chakra starts working the next thing you need to work is your swadhisthana which is sacral chakra and that will give you even firmer identity like you will be very solid in your being you know that's what swadhisthana does so once your root is sorted you can see people changing all those people who went away from you they will come back or everybody will start saying oh you are not after all a failure and you will also feel it inside you will feel that you know these people are not coming and going away from me because i am good or bad it's just their perception of me their point of view because earlier even i did not have anything i was depending on everyone i had so much not so much i had lack of confidence that i could not go out get up and get something that i deserve get work that i deserve get a job that i deserve you know and then as soon as you start doing well initially some people may not like it and if they were giving you support or if you were you know sort of supported and happy in that state of mind somebody will come and take it away from you you know yesterday only somebody i met a friend of mine she was talking about her business she told me she had a very you know like fancy business she was doing very well she earned a lot of money and she had taken the place you know like she had rented the office rented out the office and she was doing so well that people were jealous of her and the same person whose office she had you know office space she had rented out the same person asked her to leave and they started the same type of business that she was doing in that same property hoping and thinking you know because already the customers are coming in already the clients are coming in so they got so jealous of her that they threw her out sort of and or maybe asked her to leave and she was not even expecting it at that time you know she was like no i'm not going to uh, go through this at least you know not in the next 2 3 years or 4 years but unfortunately it happened and she was very heartbroken 
but then she started her business in another place she took another property like where she rented it out made the office but it was never the same because her energy the betrayal even the family members were not supporting her so much the family members were also like you know what your business is like this or that you know they got an opportunity to uh, bring her down as well or she was in such energies that she took it very personally usually you know we all get criticized everybody gets criticized some people take it seriously and some people don't when your energies are low then at that point in time you will take everything personally that it is all directed to me and you will react so much to it that you will start manifesting that energy in your life in a physical way but if you don't take it seriously only yeah fine somebody thinks my business will not work somebody thinks my relationship will not work okay fine let them think that way or if somebody comes and tells you that you know what your job is very difficult it's so hard to survive these days blah 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 and you're like oh my god if you take it seriously you'll be in very bad energies so now the feminine after a lot of hard work struggle separation betrayal she finally realizes that now i'm going to make my own life i'm going to be an independent woman an independent woman who is not depending on other people she is not codependent for emotional support mental support financial support physical support i can manage anything okay and as soon as she feels this thing deeply in her heart she does start seeing changes now this will obviously lead to further inner work because such a big stone has been moved out you know pushed away it's a very big thing so now that you know she has learned such a big lesson and when she turns thing around like even when everybody says work cannot happen and this cannot happen and that cannot happen she turns it all around and she says okay whatever i will still manage and i'll do it and she does it and then she feels that if i can fix this aspect of my life this area of my life then i can fix many other things also because this also i turned around by not reacting to whatever negativity was being thrown to me she will she kept on thinking like you know what it will all work out it will all work out it will all work out and she came into very stable energies happy energies positive energy she forgave everyone and this is the channeling okay in the channeling i can see this big uh, shift is happening so obviously you have to forgive people to shift you have to let them go you have to also discard just the way they discarded you you also need to learn to discard some people and it won't be wrong because if others can be selfish so can you right now for your personal situation you can connect with me you can write to me at the sunamoon@gmail.com and kindly do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me we shall discuss it as per the protocol that we follow and also because we use intuitive energies so we need to rely on that more than what is actually happening and in many cases uh, we get to know the story literally on our own one by one one point will come then second will come will third fourth fifth so on and so forth okay so guys i'll see you soon in another one one love and peace out and keep doing inner work because ascension is a lifestyle